Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're gonna be going over a pretty funny uh, post that was over on Reddit on things in AFK Arena that you have probably completely forgot about. And I was chuckling just kind of looking at it because I completely forgot about it. And going through here, it's pretty funny because yeah, there are a lot of things in AFK Arena that we do kind of get used to. And a lot of things in here um, really don't get used or don't get used at really the level that it used to be. So starting with our first one is of course, getting into the library. Now within the library, we do have this thing down here called the Union. Um, looking through these heroes, I don't even know. It, it's been an absorbent amount of time since they have really updated any Union heroes in here. It's been kind of crazy. I mean, even looking here with, you know, Lucretia and Zafriel, you're talking years and a multitude of years at this point to really come in for the Union. So again, something that probably a lot of players have forgotten about in the entirety, really don't use, really don't see it, don't have a much of a benefit. Even in a new account, I didn't use it because none of these heroes, unfortunately, are being used. And I know your little red tab will pop up every now and then saying that you do have something to do in here. But overall, the unions are something that most people have completely forgotten. Another one, of course, is the tails. So this is something that I, I couldn't even tell you the last time that we looked at this. And as you can see from the, the thumbs up of 20 people, 28 of the multitude of players that play this game, even looking at all of the news, I mean, this is just a part of AFK Arena that players have entirely forgot. It's been completely neglected, really doesn't do anything. Even looking at mine, um, you can see we got a couple little thumbs up there, but over there, I mean, your formation was viewed 18 times. So yeah, we got two new fans, pretty cool. But overall, when it comes to the player base, something that we're not using at all. And this one made me chuckle a little bit is when it comes to the Oak Inn, you can design and you can build out every single room in the Oak Inn. Um, even when it comes to building out the new ones, I've never even really thought about it, nor given it much time and effort really to look at all of the different things in here. Now, of course, again, once upon a time when this came out, it was pretty cool. They came out with the Draconis Homecoming series. Now, this is one that literally I have never seen the Draconic Heroes, I didn't even know had their own room. That is, again, the reason why when I came in here and I looked at it, I had to kind of chuckle because I was like, wait a minute, you're telling me these heroes have their own room? And you can see there are quite a few different ones in here. That is the default room. Um, where is the Draconic room? Right here. So, so the Roaring Blaze room, we can go ahead and we can save that. And you can see that is our Draconic room that we have right there. And again, it, it's something that I really didn't think about. I didn't think about the Draconics um, faction having their own furniture in here. And, and again, it kind of made me think and it kind of made me chuckle when I seen it um, that we do have it. And of course, there are a multitude of these, which again, there's no benefit to designing them. Um, even moving the furniture around, you can do so much in these rooms that don't really make a difference at all. Because even when you go in here and you kind of save the theme, of course, you can go in here, you can click on the individual pieces, you can move them wherever you want to as long as they fit. It, it's literally probably one of the absolute biggest waste of time um, updates that I, I'm sure they've probably ever done because you can even gather everything, you can auto place it, of course, with all of the furniture, but you can see that you can build out the room and you can really use whatever theme you want to in here. Again, there's no benefit from the modifications, there's no benefit from the changes, which unfortunately, yeah, th there's nothing, really no reason to do it at all, which is pretty sad, but yeah, th there's not um, there's not any benefit to do it at all. Now, something else that I noticed is going in the guild. This was another one that I was like, huh. So Nightmare Corridor does have the Dream Ladder, that's right. So looking at the Dream Ladder, and it's funny because you can see a little check on the top of this, Rank with the legendary uh, legendary top 10 within the corridor. And then it says right here, collect the previous reward. I never even knew. Look at that. God knows when we finished this and when we got this reward. So the Speeding Revere, R Revere um, is in there as a reward. And you can see we even have, I'm not sure what this one is, uh, rank within the top 200. So we got that one as well. So the Shadow Ambush. And then, of course, rank within the top 50. And then you can add some more lightning on there. So we have ranked within the 200. So we did pick up two new frames and I wanna put one of those on because the other thing in here is when you start looking at avatars, when you start looking at the build, um, when you get so many frames in here, 
it doesn't really make a huge difference especially the animated avatar frames or the animated avatars that everybody absolutely loves there's not a huge huge push for them anymore because again you just have to have the hero ascended even with the beast you get them for free once you hit the beast resonance 18 but overall again not a massive massive um push in there now of course a couple other ones the wall of legend this is another place where again, I feel like a lot of players have entirely forgotten about. Um, every now and then we do get a little ping in here to pick up some free diamonds, but overall something that we're not using at all. In addition to that one, looking up at, of course, the world map. The world map, it automatically advances you now stage to stage. But looking through here, these are all of the chapters that we've created or we passed through. Even the Cleansing Realm, this one actually had a boss within the Cleansing Realm. If you see, so uh, 515 of 2021, so three years ago, almost going on four years ago, um, we came in here and we built out the New Age. We killed the boss that was actually here defending the city. So it was a pretty cool event. And some of those things they've just never, never brought back. We've never got to see them anymore within the world map. And then, of course, the coming soon. This kind of drives me crazy with the peaks of time with everything else. Coming in here, that's right, it is coming soon. This has been four years, five years. So essentially when we did the release, the Contorting Realm was the very last realm that you could actually get into. The Forgotten Mine was actually one of the very first Voyage of Wonders that we did, if you remember way back when. But yes, the Forgotten Realm was one way back when, once upon a time. Then it turned to coming soon. Four years later, four plus years later, it is still coming soon. Exact same with the Wandering Balloon. It seems like they've gotten to the point where coming soon is there. And then of course, Trials of God. I don't know what they're ever gonna do with this, even since they've already phased out because of the collections we get, they've entirely phased out the class specific, um, the class specific artifacts. So this was a really, really big improvement to the game because of course, Dura's artifacts were incredibly um, hard to get. You could only put it on so many heroes. And at this point with the multitude of collections, it really is something that is never being used again. And same with this. I am hoping AFK Arena Companions, this new little part that they're kind of setting, is going to be one of the peaks of time in the Wondrous Pouch. That's going to be another mini game because even looking at Forest Mania and Shadow Evasion, it has literally been years since they have forgotten this aspect of AFK Arena. And pretty much the whole peaks of time at this point for a majority of players can just be demolished out of here because they haven't updated anything in there for a considerable amount of time. So most players are kind of just stuck because they don't have the ability or, or once you get through there, you never do see it again. And a couple more things, even looking like at the wardrobe, um, when it comes to skins and games, and I know a lot of people do love the skins, but yeah, I forgot that you could even buy these in here. And it's pretty funny that, you know, a, a lot of things in here that, that players kind of forget about, but yes, you can still buy the old skins. And of course, looking at the skins in here, there's not even a hero in here that we use any longer. So the wardrobe is literally just gonna sit there forever. And then of course the Solemn Vow, I don't have any applicants in here, but this is a place where unfortunately, I can't even get a person to stay for more than seven days, unfortunately. Um, even looking at the mental rewards, you can see 3,000 was the cap. We're almost at 11,000 already. Been mentoring like crazy. Unfortunately, this is a game mode again that they have literally never, um, never updated again. We could do some more rewards. We could do, you know, a lot of other things with this that could really make it a little bit more in depth, especially trying to help along new players in AFK Arena. But unfortunately we can't. And of course, the absolute biggest diabolical miss that we have ever seen is this last tab they call chat. So of course, looking in here, guys, this is something that I haven't been into in years and years and years and years. I don't even know, you know, at what point Will this even end? Because of course, um, yeah, th this is something, I mean, you're talking what, 22 is in here? 22, there we go, can I add you? I think that's as far as it goes back. So we're going back two years in there with chat. Um, again, this is something that was just absolutely toxic for everybody. So this, of course, all of these players, or a lot of these players, unfortunately, 
don't play AFK Arena anymore. Discord is always the best way to communicate. Um, but in here, yeah, definitely wa don't want to go in there. But guys, it's kind of crazy. There are so many aspects of AFK Arena right now that, again, it kind of made me laugh when I seen um, that that a lot of places that, yeah, I did forget in probably three or four of these, sort of the post over on Reddit, I did forget in the entirety because you don't see them. You don't see them anymore. You don't use them. You don't see anything like that. Even with the world map, the tails, a couple other places, there is nothing that you really see anymore. So, all right, guys, so that is going to do it. But let me know in the comments what you guys absolutely forgot about in AFK Arena. And as always, thank you guys for watching.